I can sometimes put my status on there, and then sometimes I don't. The currently the profiles that I have now, I don't. And the reason why I don't put it on there because they I have haters. They shut the page down. My page get flagged, and I'm, I'm not doing anything. Like I'm just chilling. But you know, you got haters that feel like we don't deserve to be in that kind of space. So I don't say anything. I just let the conversation flow. And like I said, it's, it's all about the energy that he's bringing. If he's bringing some good energy, some fly energy, and I'm digging him, I'm going to tell him, like, yo, you know, this is what's up. Or if I know, if for one, if I ain't attracted to you, you know, like, you can look online and be like, I'll swipe left, left. And if we just so happen to match and you send me a message, if you send me a message, I'm going to talk to you. I'll be nice. But if I ain't feeling you, I ain't going to tell you nothing. Right. It's no waste of energy. So, right. you know, it's, it's never a perfect time to tell them. It's all about when it feels right to me. Prime example right now, I've been talking to this dude um, probably since I've been here in South Carolina. And I got here in March. And he lives in Charlotte. And we've been talking back and forth, but I have never told him. And I just was like, now I have to take responsibility for this too. Because I have not, I have chosen not to say anything. So, and I have been just letting it go just on and on and just not say nothing. And the first time we got on the phone, him and I had a whole conversation about his different experiences on POF. I had the perfect opportunity to tell him then, but I just was like, no, I'm going to let this ride out just a little bit more to see what happened. And he showed up, told me a whole story about how he ended up meeting a girl that was trans and he was just about to go meet her and then he, she told him and i was like that was a perfect example like the perfect prime um time for me to say something but it was like i just didn't feel it i just didn't feel like it was necessary because one you stay in charlotte two i'm two hours away from you and you ain't that cute but it has turned on me because turned out he a cool dude right Oh, literally, like, he's really like, yo, I want to come and see you before you leave to go back to New York. Like, I'm, like, I'm looking up rooms so I can have somewhere to stay to come when I come and see you. So I think I'm going to just tell him tonight because I'm just oh, like. Is he coming? Is he coming now? Is he coming this weekend? He wants to. He's oh, one. And I'm just like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to feel bad because I'm not. I'm not a person that is just purposely or intentionally trying to bring hurt to someone. Right. And secretly, I have to take responsibility because a part of me, deep down, a part of me just wants to be accepted. And I know as I'm in this cloud of passing, let's be real, he don't saw me on the, he don't hurt me on the phone. We don't talk on the phone. We text. So he's, he, he, no clue. He has no clue. Right. So I'm, I'm now feeling guilty. So he had told me some stuff that I ain't really know. So I'm just, I, now I don't care. Kind of find out he's separated and he's still living in the house with the girl. So I'm just like, mm, now I feel bad. So now I'm, finna I'm tell you. just going to tell you. And that's what I'd be saying. That'd be, that, that'd be the whole thing I'd be thinking. Like, these dudes out here be wanting these trans women to be vulnerable and be open and tear them the tea right then and there but y'all the men don't be saying nothing about all oh, they baggage and you don't let me go a whole three months and develop something and you claim to say you told me when we first started talking nigga that should have been a conversation that should has been repeated exactly if, if that was the case because I if that was the case because there's no evidence there. we we wonder when we're dating it's like is he talking to anybody else? Is he with anyone? Does he have children? Those are the things that we <laughs> want to know. So you mean to tell me I didn't remember that? No, I don't think so, yeah, sir. It's so funny to me how like a lot of people feel, like a lot of straight people feel, men and women feel that trans women should say it off right off bat. And but they don't understand the danger in that. They don't understand, they don't understand where, hey, like you asking a person to be completely open with all that shit. Once I'm saying that I'm trans, you literally are putting me in the most dangerous box 
that I possibly can be in. You haven't even gave me a chance to show you who I really am. Being trans is only a small part of who right. I am. But because of society, it makes us wear that so it, it is so much more pronounced. And it's going to take conversations like this for it to be not so quote unquote taboo. So that's how that's how I am with the man. Like, like, oh. It's draining. Yeah. It's it's really it's really draining. Like it's yeah, I'm like I told you, I'm at home, so you gonna hear the house move <laughs> around. They they in the room, everybody cutting up, playing music. Yeah. No, so, like what else you got for me? So, for you to ask all of those questions, I don't care if you feel like it's a dumb question. I don't know if it's going to offend me because I have, I am guarantee you I have answered that question before. Because what I see, this is the opportunity for your viewers to learn something that they never would be able to learn because a lot of to droopy tall, a lot of gay people are ignorant around trans. Right. And you would think they would automatically know uh, what and or, yeah. Yeah. So shoot. Okay, so I also want to talk about I don't know if I want to talk about this now because I feel like it's gonna continue, but talking about no, since you touched on the danger, I wanna touch on rape victimization and murder for you guys like because i see for this year already it's been like 14 and that's only the ones that we know about that's only the ones we know about correct yeah like you know it, like you said it's like you want to tell people it's just like people with stds and uh hiv and aids it's like do i tell the person not when i meet them but what if we don't work out and I done told him now he's, you know, let's say you don't want to tell everybody and they're telling everybody or they harm you and or you, they put you in a, a state of depression. So yeah. I, I get it. It's like, there's no right and no wrong time in defense of you guys. But it'd be so weird to the other person. They automatically, the man automatically feels entitled. No, you should have told me that from A. But I was like, look how you acting now. That's why I didn't tell you. Right. Because we already know. And it ain't no shade to my brothers out here. Because like I told you it before, like, I got an infinity of love for my black men. So I really look at them like y'all are our kings out here. Right. Y'all ego is fucked. Right. Y'all have the most fragile ego. And if anything scratch, dents shake it or anything you know y'all go for the juggler and you know sometimes the danger is wow because you can have we can, you can even have a dude that act like he's okay with it and telling you all of this and he meets up and totally flip I heard about that and you will even have dudes that even go through with it do the whole complete act and still flip. It's like soon as they get that climax, something in their mind click to them because it's gone. Like you know that oh, rush that is gone. Something in their mind clicking like, "Yo, am I gay now?" Right. You know, like what does this mean now? Nah, nigga, just mean you like a new flavor of woman. That's all it is. Now, if you're dealing with a man, that's that's something totally different. That ain't even my lane. I, you know, I only have to pass through that lane to get in my lane. So, the, I, uh, honey, I can't tell you when you're dealing with men, that's something totally different. But when you're dealing with me, you just acquired a new taste of a new flavor of the type of woman. Right. Now, you got an extra flavor that you can do what y'all do anyway. Correct. Right. You can do what you I do what you do anyway. You just got a new exciting flavor. That's it. But the dangers and you know, rape, you know, all of that. It's just it's almost inevitable. And for me, I'm a little bit more terrified around that because if you look at the girls that are getting killed, these are not you no know, trans women that are not passable. 
a lot of the trans women look like freaking women. Mm -hmm. It looked like, quote unquote, I'm saying that like, because trans women are women, and I'm not saying that to say they are not. Right, not to say. Right, not to take any way from that, but they look like cis heterosexual women. Right. The ones that you are seeing being killed. So I know the kind of passing pri privilege that I have. So I'm navigating these spaces where these men are. Right. I'm literally hearing the conversations and them not even knowing what my quote unquote secret is. Like I'm I'm in these rooms. I remember one time being on a bus in Atlanta a long time ago and I saw one of my sisters. And I wish I had the voice that I had now because I would have lit that ass up. But I, I was just so terrified and st like stuck. I was hearing all this negative talk about this trans girl that was standing outside waiting on another bus. And they was on the bus, two women, just two black women, just sitting up here like, look, that's a damn shame. You know, you know this. You know they going to hell for that. And that just don't make no sense. I'm just like, I think about I think about if I had that voice that I have now, I would have literally just their mouths would have been on the floor because you wouldn't know. You, they don't know. Mm -hmm. I walk in spaces. Another another danger that I face. Say I'm invited to a house party, right? And you know. It's my good friend that I'm going with, but this is her friend and she may not even be close. So everybody at this party is brand new, right? I don't know the people at the party. So when I walk in the party, I don't know who know and who does. And then I never can sometimes be comfortable in social settings because she gonna represent how she come, come in. She always gonna be looking fly. So I, I have to think about if some dude in this party try to talk to me i then have to be very mindful every every female that's in the room because i don't want them to feel territorial and you know women can be very territorial mm -hmm. and i have to be very conscious of what man is talking to me and i gotta make sure like you ain't attached to nobody and then i gotta really scan the room and really see like is there anybody else in this room that i know like I have to trust the friend that I'm with so much that she's not going to tell my story for me. Right. So you never know, because I have been outed many a time by cis women, black cis women, in L.A. at the food stamp office, handling my business, minding my own business. Mm -hmm. Fine brother came up. He was real nice looking. And, you know, she had all my information in the back. You know, I hadn't had my idea, nothing changed, everything was, it hadn't switched over yet. So, um, I switched the camera, sorry about that. That's fine. Um, I haven't switched my information over yet. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so the dude asked me, he was like, yo, I think you fine, like, yo, like, let me holler, let me, let me get your number. I'm just like, you know, to you, like, you know, I handle that when it's time for it to be handled. So she what ended up happening a week later the dude ended up calling me. Before I can even say, Hey, how you doing? Anything, he straight was like, Yo, you a nigga? And I was just like, Oh, hello? Like and I was like, wasn't gonna give him that satisfaction. And I just was like, No. At this point I knew my spot was blown up. So I'm just like, I'm not really gonna at this point it ain't the way you coming in on the energy, it's no way that it can be good after that. Exactly. So, like, nah, old girl told me in the back that it was a whole nigga. She gave me your information and everything. And I'm just like, yo, like, you out of pocket for doing that. You have no right to tell that dude. And sis, that only made me question you. Why did you tell? Because right. you didn't have no motive to say anything. Why do you feel, and how do you didn't even know if the dude didn't even like, how you know he don't like what he like? Right. And that be the whole thing I be telling, trying to get my sisters to understand, sis, like, we date the same men. Right. Here we are. How you know, and that man probably would have gave me a chance had I was able to tell my own story. Right. 
fact that he a, a woman saw him and a woman 